I'm here at the entrance of the what used to be the Jellystone campgrounds but it's abandoned now and it's been abandoned for years so my husband and I are fixing to go take a afternoon hike and see what we can find all right if there's a fork in the road you got that which is paved and then this which is dirt which way you think we ought to go straight okay he said dirt so I'm I'm with my husband Ed by the way say hi to everybody hello he's camera shy I came down here one time when it was still a campground and people were act actively coming down here camping but we never stayed here and we just actually drove through that was so long ago I don't even remember what all might might be down here Oh Lord, we split off again. I say straight. It's a pretty day today. Sun is shining. Huh? One way back in the boat stage. There. No, that's season. Mm -hmm. Good season. Yeah, well, we're out here. He's going to be looking for seasoned wood because he makes bows, like bow and arrow bows. Well, he attempts to, anyway. He does pretty good. Yeah, there is something down there, isn't there? Do what? You thought it was what? Is that a cave? Oh man, there's a cave over there, guys. We'll have to try and explore that. See what that's about. It may or may not be, but it sure does look like it. Maybe. Hold on, do you hear that? So guys, I don't know what to expect down here. We're coming up on something, but I'm not quite sure what it could possibly be. So, I just, it's real pretty down here though. It's grown up, but I don't see any evidence or signs of an actual campground. So. And maybe the fact that it's been deserted for so many years that everything's just overgrown. But here, look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
bigger light right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something. Used to be a flower bed or something. Steps hmm. And these are steps. So I don't know what this could have been. And these bushes over here. under here. I know this place used to be covered up with Indians, Native American Indians. Um, this was their land. This was their home. So we're liable to find arrowheads or spearheads. That would be great. Creepy crawlers are snakes. And my husband will absolutely have a conniption fit if he sees one. Of course, I'd probably be right there with him. These purple flowers are so pretty. Can anybody comment below and tell me what these are? I know they're wild something, but baby's breath, no. Hey, what is that over there? On the other side over there, it looks like there's something hanging up in the tree. You see it over there? See it? Back up this way. Look right in the between where those those bushes are. You see it? I don't know, we might be able to get over there to see what it is. So far, not seeing too much evidence of it ever being a campground down here. We're coming up on a fence area. No, this looks like it might be the end of the road. Absolutely. Are they out now? my um, camera co lens cover hitting the camera y'all sorry about that yeah it just opens up into like a field It is odd. 
Really? I see blueberry vines or some kind of berry vines. But there's not any on there. No. No berries, guys. All right, we're gonna head back up this way and see if we can't find that cave. This is pretty out through here though. I wonder if you can get up through there that way. Huh? Yeah, I do see it. I don't know. That may go back down to the other that other road that we didn't take. I think we found something abandoned, a building or something, and we're fixing to go try and get over there. Now, guys, we are definitely on private property, so I don't advise doing this. You're supposed to always ask for permission, but in this case, I didn't know who to ask. Anyway, we just ran across the building, and we're fixing to go try and find it. What, the, the, that looks like a cave? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I do see them. Hey, let's go this way. Did y'all hear that? I'm pretty sure this place would be so spooky at night and if you would like to see us come back here at night comment and hit that like button if I can get a thousand likes on this video we will come back here and do a 3 a.m. challenge. My husband said he'll come out here butt naked and do a overnight challenge. So come on, guys. We need that thousand likes. Oh, and if you haven't already. Oh, wow. Look. There is a building over there. I can't zoom in. Trying to figure out how to zoom in, guys. Yeah, this is what he thought was the cave with the bushes. We gotta go back that way. That way. All right, guys. All right, if you guys happen to hear like humming in the background, that's me. That is my OCD, nervous tick, whatever the hell you want to call it. I hum. No, that's, that's not a house. That's not a house. 
There's nobody here, bud. Absolutely nobody here. Nobody's lived down here for ages. We found our first abandoned place. We found our first abandoned place, guys. Did you really? Man. He said he heard a noise, so. So we, depending on what it is, we might have to dip. Hmm? I don't think it's so much as a building as it is like a pavilion where they used to come out and picnic and all. He's going to go through the real high grass. I'm going to take the short, the longer way around and go through the regular grass. Yeah, it's a pavilion. Wow. But I'm really scared to go back there. I'm scared of what might be back there. Wow. Yeah. Those sh those shells are super cool. What is that? Like a deer stand or something? Yeah. Look at those shelves. And this place is sitting all the way back in the middle of the woods. And it's, I mean, there's nobody out here. I would love to have those shelves. But we don't take anything and we don't break anything. So. Oh, wow. There's a fire pit over here. That is super cool. And even a chair. Well, we don't take anything, we don't break anything. See the cool fire pit, guys? <laughs> 